If you're over 50 and you wake up two, three, or even four times a night to pee, please stop scrolling and listen closely. Because what I'm about to reveal could be the difference between sleeping peacefully through the night or spending the next decade exhausted, foggy, and running to the bathroom at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., or 5 a.m. Most people think nighttime urination is just part of getting older, but that's wrong, dangerously wrong. In the next few minutes, I'll show you exactly how to drink water the right way so you can finally sleep through the night again. But today, I'm going to give you a simple, free method used in urology clinics that can help you reclaim your sleep starting tonight. A method about how, and more importantly, when to drink water that will finally let you reclaim your nights. It's a technique so simple, so logical, and yet so overlooked, you'll wonder how you didn't know about it sooner. This knowledge won't just change your nights, it could change your life. I'm Dr. Amber Dickerman, a board-certified urologist, and every day I see patients who've been told to just drink less water, only to make the problem worse. For over 20 years, I've helped thousands of patients stop their exhausting trips to the bathroom, and it all starts with knowing when to drink water. Before I give you the solution, I want you to understand the true scope of this problem. Up to 70% of adults over 60 wake up at least once a night to urinate. This is called nocturia. While it's common, it is not normal and it's not a harmless toll of age. It's a warning signal, and the consequences of ignoring it are far more serious than you think. The problem goes far beyond feeling tired. The first major danger is the risk of falls. In the dark and half asleep, your balance is terrible. For an older adult, a hip fracture during a midnight trip can mark the start of a rapid decline in independence. And trust me, you've probably been making at least one of the three critical mistakes I'm about to show you. Stick around, because mistake number one is the one almost everyone gets wrong, and it's silently wrecking your sleep. You now have the secret to stop waking up at 3 a.m. If you want more proven, doctor-backed strategies to reclaim your health and sleep, Hit subscribe right now and turn on notifications so you never miss another breakthrough solution. Before I give you the solution, you need to understand why this isn't just an annoyance. It's a serious health risk. Waking up to pee, called nocturia, fragments your deep sleep. This is where your brain cleans out toxins linked to Alzheimer's and your body repairs itself. When you interrupt that, you're not just tired, you're increasing your risk for one, brain fog and memory loss. 2. Hypertension and heart strain. 3. Devastating falls in the dark. The good news? The most common cause isn't a small bladder. It's a simple timing issue with your fluids, and it's fixable. Be honest. Have you ever tried cutting down on water to stop those midnight trips, but somehow you wake up even more often? Or maybe you've stopped drinking after dinner, but still feel thirsty and restless all night long? If so, it's not your fault. You've been following advice that completely backfires because it ignores how your bladder and kidneys actually work at night. I've treated hundreds of exhausted men and women, some waking up five times a night for years, but I've also seen 75-year-olds sleep straight through until morning, feeling young again. The difference? It's not luck or genetics. It's timing, knowing when to drink and when to stop. If you keep ignoring this, the problem doesn't stay small. Nighttime urination, what we call nocturia, leads to broken sleep, fatigue, memory decline, and even heart issues. But once you understand these three simple hydration rules, everything changes. You'll fall asleep faster, stay asleep longer, and wake up feeling actually rested. Let's count down from mistake number three to mistake number one, and then I'll give you the full step-by-step -step system to fix it for good. Let's start with a big one, alcohol before bed. That glass of wine or beer might feel relaxing, but here's what's really happening. Alcohol is a brutal diuretic. It shuts off your body's natural pause button on urine production. You might fall asleep faster, but you're guaranteeing a wake-up call a few hours later. Alcohol tricks your brain into feeling sleepy, but it also shuts down a hormone called ADH, the one that tells your kidneys to slow urine production while you sleep. So instead of resting, your kidneys go into overdrive. One of my patients, Mark Taylor, used to drink one glass of wine with dinner. He thought it helped her unwind, but when we swapped it for herbal tea at 5 p.m., he went from waking up three times a night to once, 
sometimes not at all, within two weeks. If you drink alcohol in the evening, you're fighting your biology. You're asking your body to relax while forcing your kidneys to work overtime. Mistake number two. We called this the timing disaster. Mistake number two is one almost everyone makes, drinking water too close to bedtime. You probably think, if I stop drinking one hour before bed, I'll be fine. Wrong. Your kidneys need two to three full hours to process fluids. So if you sleep at 10 and drink water at 9, you've just scheduled a 1 a.m. bathroom trip. Now let's talk about mistake number one, the dehydration trap. Here's the big one, the mistake that keeps millions awake every night, drinking too little water during the day. When you don't drink enough, your urine becomes concentrated, darker and more acidic. That irritates your bladder walls, triggering false alarms that make you feel like you need to pee, even when your bladder's barely half full. I had a patient, Robert, who bragged that he stopped drinking water after lunch. His urine looked like dark tea, and his bladder was constantly screaming for relief. Once we increased his daytime hydration and cut it off at the right time, he went from four nightly trips to zero. The key isn't drinking less, it's drinking smarter. Finally, let's talk about the solution, what we called the ASIM method. Here's the three-step hydration system that's helped thousands of my patients. The ASIM method. Active hours hydration, slow down, ignore the evening urge, maintain consistency. Step one, front load your water. Drink about 75% of your daily water before 4 p.m. Start your day with two full glasses before breakfast. This kickstarts your metabolism and hydrates your body early. Throughout the morning and early afternoon, sip regularly. By late afternoon, you should already be fully hydrated. Step two, the landing phase. From 4 p.m. until two hours before bed, reduce sharply. Only take small sips if your mouth feels dry. Eat dinner at least three hours before bedtime. This gives your body time to process fluids and food. Step three, the sacred zone. For the last two hours before bed, no liquids at all, not even herbal tea. This window allows your kidneys to finish their shift before you lie down. If you follow just this one rule, you'll likely cut your nighttime bathroom trips in half within days. The power moves. Sleep like you're 30 again. Now let's supercharge your results with three power moves. Power move number one, double voiding. Before bed, go to the bathroom, wait 30 seconds, then try again. That extra release is often what wakes people up at 3 a.m. Men, sit down for this. It relaxes your pelvic muscles completely. Power move number two, the gravity trick. Throughout the day, fluid collects in your legs. When you lie down, that fluid returns to your bloodstream, reaches your kidneys, and ends up in your bladder hours later. Solution? Elevate your legs for 15, 30 minutes, one hour before bed. It drains that fluid early, so your body processes it before sleep. Power move number three, salt control. Too much salt makes your body retain water, which later dumps into your bladder at night. Cut back on processed foods and restaurant meals. Your body and your sleep will thank you. So, let's recap your action plan for tonight. One, front load your water before 4 p.m. Two, Respect the two-hour no-liquid zone before bed. Three, use the double void technique. Four, elevate your legs for 30 to 60 minutes before sleep. This isn't a magic pill. It's a smarter strategy. Your body will thank you with deeper, more restorative sleep. Now let's talk about real results. This actually works. Robert, remember him? Within 10 days, he went from four nightly bathroom trips to zero. He called my office almost in tears, saying, Dr. Dickerman, I haven't slept through the night in 12 years. Mark Taylor, the wine lover? Same story. He sent me a picture of herself on vacation with her grandkids. He said, I finally stopped planning my life around the bathroom. Most people notice improvement in three to five days. Significant change within two weeks, if they stay consistent. The first few days might feel strange, thirstier at night or peeing more in the day that's normal. It means your body is rebalancing. Before we wrap up, one more important factor. If you're waking up at night to urinate, it's not always just about how and when you drink water. Another major cause is an enlarged prostate. 
known medically as benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH. As men age, the prostate can grow and press on the bladder or urethra, increasing urinary frequency and urgency at night. If you suspect BPH, symptoms like weak stream, dribbling, urgency, getting up multiple times at night, you need to get evaluated by a urologist because treating the prostate issue can dramatically reduce those trips to the bathroom. Now, for many men who are dealing with prostate enlargement, the question comes up, what about supplements? While I always say, first talk to your doctor, here are seven high-rated supplements that many men look into, along with what the evidence says. Before we wrap up, I want to share a critical resource. If you're concerned about restoring healthy prostate or performance, there's a powerful natural solution, the seven highest-rated prostate supplements that are urologist-approved. These supplements naturally support normal prostate size and urinary comfort by addressing the root cause of enlarged prostate issues. Check the pinned comment below to see the highest quality prostate health supplements you need to know about. Like this video if you found this information helpful. It tells YouTube you want more content like this. Subscribe to the channel for more science-backed tips to take control of your health. This is the most important one. Go down to the comments right now and type I'm in or tell me how many times you usually get up at night. This public commitment is the first step to making the change. I read every single comment. Millions are waking up exhausted tonight. If this information helped you, please share it widely. Let's spread the word that restful nights are possible and help others reclaim their sleep.